The upcoming live-action adaptation is filled with unnervingly realistic CGI animals, which may have looked charming in their animated origins, but come across as awkward and unnatural in live-action. As anticipated, Prince Charming is notably absent, likely due to Rachel Zegler's already well-known opinions on the character. Hollywood being what it is, there's even speculation that all scenes involving the character Aviander might be cut. As for the dwarves, they've been reimagined as a diverse group of magical, gender non-conforming, vertically challenged individuals. Yet their portrayal seems more like a fever dream than a fantastical inclusion. Their movements are jerky, their rubbery faces devoid of emotion. It's as if you're watching an interview with Kevin Feige, but somehow more unsettling. While they would have been questionable even in an animated setting, placing them beside real actors only serves to highlight how artificial and ill-conceived they are. This entire approach seems like a dreadful misstep, further proof that the film's concept was fundamentally flawed from the start. Imagine how much more genuine and cost-effective it would have been to use real actors on a physical set. Not only would this have provided Zegler with something tangible to interact with, but it would also have spared her the bizarre experience of dancing alone in an empty room, with only tennis balls on sticks to represent the dwarves. Speaking of Zegler, she has been unusually quiet in recent months, almost as if Disney advised her to stay silent. Her last notable appearance was during a controlled interview with Halle Bailey, where her subdued demeanour starkly contrasted with the brash, overconfident persona she displayed earlier this year. The film's narrative, rooted in a story from 85 years ago, is now being awkwardly forced into a modern context. While the original was celebrated as a groundbreaking moment in film history, earning honorary Oscars and solidifying Disney's place in the industry, this new adaptation seems to struggle under the weight of its legacy. The movie faces a significant challenge in portraying the central conflict of an evil stepmother, jealous of Snow White's beauty. When Gal Gadot, one of Hollywood's most stunning actresses, plays the stepmother, and the role of Snow White is filled by someone far less renowned for their looks, the trailer inadvertently magnifies this problem. While the concept of fairest of them all now supposedly symbolizes truth, justice, and leadership. This vague reinterpretation doesn't translate effectively on screen. It's like putting a Lamborghini next to a Ford Escort and suggesting that the Lamborghini is the one feeling envious. It's doubtful that audiences will buy into this narrative. The revamped version of Whistle While You Work recently leaked online, epitomizing everything tailored for modern audiences. In the original film, Snow White volunteers to clean the dwarves' home with the help of her animal friends, a gesture of gratitude for their hospitality. But the notion of a woman performing domestic chores, even temporally, seems out of step with today's sensibilities. In the new version, Snow White commands the dwarves to do the cleaning. Despite their having taken her in and provided her with everything she needed, this is where identity politics clashes with common sense. And unfortunately, the latter loses out. If Disney hoped this trailer would turn around public opinion on what might be their least popular movie since the Marvels, they might have missed the mark.